Hey Jack. I was ready to go to sleep, but I figured I would just get this the fuck out of the way first. Because otherwise I'm probably not going to be able to sleep tonight anyways. Uh, <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah, I got your message. I don't know why the fuck you keep persisting with this. But since you do, I think I'm going to have to finally set you straight on this. Because things have changed recently. A lot of things have changed. Something very important is about to happen to me, Jack. Something very, very important. And I'm not going to let you fuck this up. All right, now, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your wife, I'm sorry about your kid. Yeah, didn't you think you'd ever get that out of me? I'm sorry. Ultimately, I don't really care, but you got me painted out to be some sort of sadistic monster just looking to kill people. That's not the truth. I did what I had to do, because apparently you don't seem to understand that I'm doing something for the greater good here. I'm being painted out to be some sort of bad guy here, when I'm actually the one who's trying to fucking save this city. And I got people like you jumping down my throat, and I don't fucking need it, okay? It's been five fucking years, and you still haven't gotten over it. I've changed a little bit over the last couple weeks or so. My attitude's changed a little bit. But I still say a relationship, a wife, a spouse, is something you're supposed to use for support. Somebody you love, somebody that's there for you, somebody that you're there for. But it's something to help aid your light. It's not something to latch upon. I made that mistake once. My life was so fucked up that I'm just looking to latch on to somebody because I felt I needed somebody to be there for me. Until one day I fucking woke up and looked in the mirror and realized that I don't need anybody. I have myself. The only person you can rely on in life is yourself, and that's a fucking fact. So, fuck me if someone comes to me asking for help and I say, no, help your fucking self. Because that's not me. I'm looking to help myself. Being selfish is quite a virtue, Jack. Maybe you don't realize that. So get off my fucking case, all right? Now, regardless of what's happened and regardless of what my wife thinks, this is gonna happen. Everything I've been working towards for the last six years is finally coming to fruition. And I'm not gonna let you stop it. If you wanna come up here and you wanna pitch your luck, you wanna try your luck against me, and you wanna go on some renegade rampage, go on some fucking suicide mission, that's fine. Yeah, my attitude may have changed, but I won't stop now. If you come here and you try to interfere, I will kill you myself. And that's a promise. Again, I'm sorry. I am sorry. But I got my own problems to deal with. Now, something that's come to my attention that really pisses me off. Do you actually think that because of our past, that you should get some sort of free pass? No, 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 I don't even care about what the fucking circumstances are. You think that because what you did for me as a kid, that you were entitled to some special treatment in what I've been doing? <sighs> what did you do, Jack? To help me? What did you do? You sat in a car outside of my fucking house while you knew that inside my fucking father was taking a bicycle chain to me? And you did nothing. And real, the reality is you couldn't do anything. But you still sat out there and let it wallow in your head. You just... What the fuck did you think was gonna happen, huh? You know how the law works. You know how the system works. I mean, look at our situation. I've killed over a dozen people that I couldn't even name because I had to. But every time there was a witness involved, I had them killed. I had them fucking killed, dead. They're all lying in graves right now, just like you should be. But fate had a bigger plan, and I made a mistake. The first mistake and only mistake I've made since, and it was the biggest one I ever could have made. 
And the truth is, despite everything I've said about myself, I should be in fucking jail right now. I should probably have the fucking death penalty. Think about this. About a dozen, dozen innocent people with no power whatsoever. I had to make sure died to protect what I've been doing. Meanwhile, a cop like you, I shot and left for dead. I was face to face with you. And I left you for dead and you got away. And for everything you experienced, after everything you went through, what happened? Did I get caught and get sent to jail? No. That's how fucking corrupt the system is here. And that's what I'm trying to change. And somehow you don't see that. And I don't fucking get it. You're letting your fucking ego, fucking just these vengeful thoughts, this vigilance, you're just letting it all cloud your fucking mind when you should be helping me. So what? I mean, there's some, there's some good guys besides you. You got Morgan and Kendall and Stevenson. And that's pretty much about fucking it. All the rest of them are just a bunch of corrupt fucking lowlives, and you know that. You're one of the few good guys here, and I admit that. And look how fucking far it's gotten you. Look what you've had to put up with. I need to shot you and left you for dead. And nothing could happen. No one could touch me. Meanwhile, I had to... I had to kill a bunch of witnesses because they witnessed a bunch of shit that I did or that I had someone do. What does that say, Jack? You so fucking censor already. So, back to our past. You're gonna sit there in a car and just... Why, Jack? I know why. It was because I was a child. Because you just couldn't stand the fact that you were what you were witnessing, what you were seeing, what you were understanding was a child being beaten to death, beaten, excuse me, half to death by his piece of shit father. Now you see why I did what I did and you wanted to try to help me, try to get me into a foster home. Thank God I was almost 18 when this fucking happened. There was nothing you could do, Jack, and yet you latched on to me, emotionally. News flash, Jack. Kids get abused and murdered all the time. It's fucking reality. It's not pretty, but it's the truth. So why did you latch on to me, Jack? Why? Why did you do it? You knew it was inevitable. You knew there was nothing you could do, so why? Just to try to gain yourself some false sense of uh, entitlement? Fuck that. Because, Jack, what you don't seem to understand... Is that we're the same. You and me. We're so much alike, don't you understand? Both of us had our childhoods robbed from us. I know what you went through. Both of us had our lives just ripped apart. Loved ones lost. Mistreatment. Flaws we faced in life that were just so hard to overcome. While you are sitting here and wallowing in self-pity five years after, look what I've done despite everything I've encountered. Being physically inferior, being emotionally disturbed. Bad genetics. Despite all that, look what I've done for myself. And why did I do it? Because I took charge. I decided that I had to do something. So many people just sit through life doing nothing. They do fucking nothing. They just sit there and they just want their lives to be better, but they don't fucking take charge or do anything themselves because they're too fucking lazy. They expect everything to fall into their fucking lap. Not me. I'm a fucking realist. I realize that if you want anything, you got to go out and you got to do it yourself. So get the fuck out of my face with that shit. I'm tired of the guilt that you're trying to... You didn't do anything for me and there wasn't anything you could do, so stop acting like you're entitled to something because you were entitled to nothing. Now I ask you, because for the first time I feel like I actually might have a little bit of humanity in me, put this shit aside and help me. Stay away. 
Because when what I'm doing gets accomplished, not only will I be free, not only will the city be free, but you'll be free too. So just let it alone. Or are you too much of a selfish piece of shit to understand that? Now you might be going through a lot, but you're a sensible person, Jack. So don't make this mistake. Don't throw your fucking life away to ruin something good. What fucking sense does that make? This has been quite an ordeal. And I may be changing my ways, but like I said, I'm not going to let anything stop me here. You try to stop me, you die, Jack. It's nothing personal. It never was anything personal, and that's what you fail to realize. I'm sorry. Yes, I understand. I killed your family. You're going to take it personally. But this is for the greater good. What's more important? Revenge for dead loved ones you'll never get back? Or the greater good? Trust me, Jack. I know what it's like to be vengeful. I know what it's like. You forget. I beat my own father to death after he killed my mother. My mother, who was the only, the only person who stood up for me. The only person who ever did what was right and tried to help me and help me help myself. And what did she get for that? She got killed by a drunk, senseless son of a bitch. Son of a bitch that helped create me. I suddenly realized that I became more like him than I could have ever imagined. And that made me sick. But at this point, it's over, Jack. Don't do this. Don't make me take you out, too. I don't want to have that on my conscience. I've done enough. I've had to come to terms with what I've done recently, and I'm not proud of it. Please, don't be another notch on this gun that I'm trying to throw away. Stay away. For both our sakes, Jack. For the sake of this city. I know you understand. So put this childish shit aside. That's all I gotta say. All right. We have both faced enough in our lives. We don't need it to get worse. Let it go, Jack. I know what it's like to hold on to hate for so long. Tears you up inside. Look what it did to me. I'm asking you, don't let it happen to yourself too, or you'll end up like me. One day, you find yourself confused. Now that I finally have a chance to do something good, I'm gonna do it. Much as I hate to say it, like I said, I won't let you stop me. Please do not force me to do something that I don't want to do at this point. It's bad enough how much weakness and ignorance there is in the world. Religious fanatics sticking to their God. God isn't going to help you. God isn't going to help me. God isn't going to help anyone who sits and says, Huh, I'm not going to go with the chemother chemotherapy because if I die, that's God's will. A bunch of fucking shit. Help yourself, you weak fuck. So maybe you get it now? Don't do it, Jack. Leave me be. And then when I'm done, I'll be out of here and you'll never have to see me again. Maybe that won't help you. But maybe... Conscience of knowing that you did something for the greater good of somebody. And the happiness of that can overshadow... Of that feeling of revenge that's in your heart. It's been, it's been almost six years. Let it go. I've said what I had to say, that's all I can say. If these words don't get through to you, then I don't know what else to say to you, Jack. So, I'll either see you, or I won't. I hope.
hope that I won't. Hopefully this is a goodbye, Jack. Goodbye.